What's going on with y'all? This MD Mills, aka Ancient Wizard. I got another video for y'all. We get ready to do um the Worcester Origins, you know what I'm saying? What you got going on in your DNA and what messages do y'all have? Well, what messages do y'all have for spirit to relay for you right now? That's gonna help you in your highest benefit. All right. So that's what we're gonna do. We got obsidian for power number one. We got this clear calcite for pile number two. And we also got this small amethyst tip and quartz for pile number three. All right. So without further ado, we're going to jump right into the video. We're going to jump right into pile number one. All right. So pile number one, we get ready to find out what species do you have in your DNA. What galactic soul family do you have in your D DNA and your lineage? All right, that's what we're finding out right now. And what messages do we have for power number one? Power number one, you are the black obsidian power. And we're not, we're about to find out. What do we have? So spirit, what do we, what do we have? That's the first thing that come out. DNA of mythology creation. Wow. Okay. Got Aztec flew out. So it could be of Aztec origins. What DNA do we have for power one? This wants to come out. Aries could be an Aries or have that somewhere in your chart. What DNA do we have for power one? Not only could it be Aries, Neptune. Okay. So you could have either Aries in your chart. You could also uh, have something to do with the Aries constellation. Neptune here could have Neptunian energy is like Pisces usually Argathan beings inner earth and it says multi-species hybrid and it says rods skyfish so you could be dealing with the skyfish or also have skyfish in you we're gonna leave it right there they told me leave it right there so Argathan beings, inner inner earth, Aztec, DNA of mythology creation. Okay. So, and then it says Neptune. So you could be dealing with someone of Neptune or, hold up, my fault, y'all. I got an alarm going. So we got a uh, multi-species. So this Aztec, Neptune, I'm I'm getting Pisces off of this. Um, you could have that in your chart, but I'm I'm also feeling like you could be dealing with one. But this is supposed to re it's really about you, so you also could be a descendant of these energies, Neptune, or you could come from Neptune, Argathan. Like this is inner Earth. You feel me? Mythology, creation, Aries. It could have something to do with that. We just going we're gonna pull some more cards so I can get some more understanding or understanding, overstanding as well for you too. You feel me? So let's see. So what is in power one's DNA? What is in power one's DNA? I'm hearing with the Neptune with that skyfish that goes together. So you could have a little bit of fish DNA as well. Aztec. I'm hearing like Mayans. Mayan DNA. Also, uh, for some reason, I'm hearing Guatemala. Aztec. Aztec. All right. So what Oracle cards do we have for Power One? What oracle cards do we have for power one? 
reclaim your energy. You got to reclaim your energy. Let's see, what else do we have for power one? Can I get at least two more cards, spirit? Can I get at least two more cards, spirit? For power one. Let's see, can I get at least two more cards? Grace's receptivity. I get at least two more cards and fire. So that's where that Aries is. Sacral chakra on the bottom of the deck. So with reclaim your energy, like this. Let's see, you probably can't really see it just that well. So I'm getting that there's a merge of two different energies. You have fire energy and you may have water energy. And you're a blend of both. And I'm hearing more like an equal blend of both. You can be you can be very balanced at times. And you definitely like to speak what's on your heart. Speak what's on your heart, your mind, and what you feel on the outside. Like when you, you can read, you're somebody who can read the room. You're somebody who can, who, who definitely shows your authority. You are somebody who is in, who is put in positions of power. You show your authority. You wear your crown because you see she has a crown here and she also has a crown there. You show your crown. With this Aries, you could have somebody who's very giving. You could be someone who's very giving. But with this, uh, with this like fire kundalini, I'm getting that. I'm getting that you like to have sex with that sacral chakra. You like to have sex, and sex does some type of awakening for you. Like it allows you to reach different states of of enlightenment meaning like you 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 tend to see things differently after you have sex with someone and it could be in a good way or in a bad way but most of the time you see you it's like you tend to see both both viewpoints of one situation whenever you blend together or merge together when it comes to someone or it also could be whenever you put two different things together, it allows you to see things differently in a higher way. Um, what can, can we clarify this energy some more? Can we clarify this energy some more? So we're going to use some of this tarot. Can we clarify this energy some more? Spirit. Can we clarify this energy some more, Spirit? Okay. Okay. We got seven of cups. We got the high priestess here. So you could be someone who's definitely uh, intuitive. Ace of fire. You definitely got a lot of fire here. Ten of wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Yeah, you definitely could be a fire sign or have it prominent in your chart. You got the tower here. And you also have the two of swords, air energy, Libra, or a decision. It's like a decision, but it also could be blocked off right now. You could be trying to block off a decision that you want to make or that you may feel as though you should make. I'm not going to ever tell no one what they need to do unless spirit is like really yelling that in my ear. Because you only know what you need to do. I feel like a person that doesn't even know you, they don't know your life well enough to tell you what you need to do. 
but you know what you need to do. With this, do I have any more from this deck? No. All right. The, the uh, Three of Swords wanted to show itself, but the Six of Pentacles is here. All right. From another pile, pile, what do we have? Spirit, can you reveal some more of this energy? What do we have? So I'm getting that you could have been very, de uh, not depressed, but very oppressed in order to just awaken more of your gifts. Like, it's like your gifts, your gifts had to come through because of you being in so many situations that made you have to uh, use your senses in order to avoid a lot of destruction in your life. Um, with the Ace of Wands here, it's like you are a very passionate person. Um, with the Argathen beings, I'm also getting that you have been mingling and you, yeah, you have been mingling and associating yourself with more Argathan beings than, I would say, beings that's really like of your soul tribe. You got the Ten of Pentacles here. So you got Ten Ten. You could be seeing that. Ten of Cups as well. With the, I see Three of Swords, you know what I mean? The Chariot there too. So you could either be hurting or something could feel like it's hurting someone because of a decision that may be made nine of swords can i get another one where this high priestess is spirit and with the devil card here it's like i'm not really getting so much toxicity but i am getting I am getting that um, things are, things seem to be like, it's like a trapped feeling, like a bound feeling, like, like most of the time the devil card is like marriages as well, contracts, stuff like that, but what I'm really getting is like, it's more like the plot to keep things the same way, like basically being held to a standard that is what the majority thinks you know like they say the majority rules it's like that um with the death card here it's like you turning your back towards the devil you know what i'm saying like this this death card here and it's like you could really be in your head about it or worried about it and it feels like, you know, you got demonic energy on your back. Like, and that's what it kind of feels like. It kind of feels like you may, you kind of like haunted. You could be feeling like you kind of haunted by something that you want to do or by some, some type of energies that don't want you to move these ways. Um, this is what the eight of swords. Yeah, so this is the Eight of Swords. It's like you could definitely be in your mind right now. You could be in your head a lot. With this uh, Three of Pentacles here, it's like you may want to work work things out with the Aries or Pisces. See, if you got Aries and Pisces in your chart, this definitely could speak to you a little more. Or you could be dealing with one. But um, with this High Priestess and you got the Nine of Cups as well, it's like... You could also be wanting to um, collaborate and work with this this person who seems to know a lot more about the spiritual realm and know a lot more about things that that seem to be so far out, almost the things that's too good to be true. It's like once you realize that you have gifts too, now you're more intrigued to know more about um what it is that like know more about your gifts like what it is that you can unlock how do you unlock them how do you uh allow yourself to uh develop the the strength with these gifts like you're trying to figure it out like like how can you how can you get better at this knowing that now this is like kind of real 
with this three of pentacles here and then it's also ten of pentacles here that gives me 13 13 is the death card so you got 13 13 here and it's like you're definitely bringing a, a death to something and i'm getting with this death it's just you turning your back on how things have always been in order to look at something else like you're trying to uh bring it's like bringing people up the mountain like you're looking forward to bringing people up the mountain and whatever small attachment or whatever demonic attachment it's like you're stepping on that you're you're allowing this to be your you're allowing that to be your stepping stone because it also looks like this death card this person well yeah the death card it got a baby bump there so it's like pregnancy as well but it's it all it almost gives like the energy of you know like sometimes you have to get uh smaller energies or things that are not as most important under control so that you can know what you're doing and be certain instead of letting these different things run you crazy it's like getting a handle on this because you see it's like this now i look at these energies as being the same you know what i'm saying so like this would be this it's like instead of you being freaked out and worried because this is on your back it's like you're getting a handle on it now you know what i'm saying because you holding it in control i don't see that i don't see this this energy as something that is going to step on this i feel like it's going to be it's, it's just using it as a as a way of control you know how it's just like the, how the cats they grab their their young by the neck and you know what i'm saying they steal from most people's point of view they probably just look at it like oh she hurting the cat but ultimately she's just getting it under control you feel me so that's what it would be in this situation with the seven of pentacles here it's like you've been looking at how things have been all this time and it's like you you ready to make a change about that with the seven of cups here too you could be seeing 77 it's like well seven 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 because this uh this seven of cups here too so it's like with the illusions it's too many illusions that you've been in or it's too many illusions that you have been dealing with and it's like it's it's time to it's time to allow yourself to actually see clearly um let's see see clearly what's the best what's the best uh move to make to deal with this whole energy and get further into activating power one's dna for their best of benefit what is the best thing to do what is the best step forward what is the best step forward what is the best step forward We got the Queen of Pentacles. We got the Ace of Pentacles. So I'm getting that maybe uh, accepting, and you got the Six of Wands, Lord of Victory. Maybe you should accept whatever the Divine is trying to offer with the Ace of Pentacles, as well as with this Queen of Pentacles. It's like someone could be trying to nurture something. Someone could be trying to uh, offer you some type of substance, something that's going to be very loving and very caring and as well also very uh material materialist hmm, materialistically uh secure whatever it is that is that is secure that may be the best uh option for you or the best route for you um let me, what else uh clarification i need some clarification for this as well okay you got co-worker a co-worker could you could be dealing with a co-worker i get excited when i see you you could be excited whenever you see this high priestess or whenever you whenever someone sees you a high priestess could get excited whenever they see you whichever way you got they promoted you recently with good words. So, you know, 
is you you probably get ready to go up into a higher level of some type of some type of commitment or some type of offer and then they got definitely yes yes here and that's it because you know spirit they they shut off the rest of them so yeah whatever it is with you working with this person it's a yes yes your ancestors or my ancestors or your spirit guides and my spirit guides whatever they they are telling me to relate to you that it's a yes whatever you're trying to do this may be the best route for you it's just like more so this ace of pentacles if you accept this ace of pentacles then you will have victory yeah and and you got the tarot card up under it because six of wands was right up under the queen of pentacles that's at the bottom of the deck so that's what's really going on you could be dealing with a hybrid or you could be definitely a multi-species hybrid um so that's what's going on with y'all and i hope that you gain something from this message we're gonna move into power two all right i love y'all peace if this video resonated please like share and subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you next time 100Hopefully, if y'all don't know any any of these species, that y'all will actually take some time out your day and look it up. You know what I'm saying? Study more about these species. Okay. All right. So, let me clear these energies. All right, so now we're going to get into pile two, pile two, let me um restart this, this light, so pile two, if you chose this pile, then you are the clear, the clear uh, calcite. And we're going to find out what species are you or what you have in your DNA. And what messages do you need to hear right now? Right. What species are you? What do you have in your DNA? And what do you need to hear right now? All right. Sheesh. This one wanted to come out. Zulu Nation. Okay. So you could be a descendant from the Zulu. Sheesh. That's a whole lot that wanted to come out. Indigo. Got Indigo that came out. Okay. You got Dragon Spirit out here. Libra looked like it wanted to come out. Oh, you got Andromeda. And is that is? Is that all spirit that we have? Seth. All right. And that's it. So we got Zulu Nation. We got Seth. We got Andromeda. We got Indigo. And we have Dragon Spirit. So, you could be, with this dragon spirit, see, yeah, 
with this dragon spirit and Seth here, it's like you could be a descendant of dragons and Seth, you could, I'm getting a direct descendant from Seth with this new Zulu nation here. You could have definitely, you, you definitely have like this warlike uh, spirit about you. Like you're definitely not afraid of war. In fact, you actually welcome it because you know that you may come out victorious. That's what I'm hearing. Um, indigo, you are indigo. Naturally, you carry on these traits from your Andromedan life. You had a life as an Andromedan as well. Um, let's see. What? What? Uh, what oracle cards do we have for this? This pile. Zulu Nation, you got Dragon Spirit. So you have, I'm getting that you are very powerful. Very powerful. You have a lineage of a lot of water, warlocks. Warlocks. Seth. Seth is usually the, what they want to recognize as the devil uh, traditionally over here in America. But... Seth is really just a, it's a, he's an ancient Egyptian god, I would say. He is a son of, I want to say, uh, he's the son of, um, is it, it's not Anu, is it? Because Anu is Sumerian. It's, uh. It's right on the tip of my tongue. Oh, um, dang, I remember them. He basically, okay, I know, well, he's a brother of Osiris. I can't remember his, who, who his father is, but he's the brother of Osiris and Isis. So, yeah, Seth, so. What do we have for power two? What oracle messages, or oracle identifications that can help with power two? What do we have for power two? What do we have for power two? Spirit, what do we have for power two? Okay. You got Mount Shasta. And you got home. So yeah, Andromeda, Andromeda, that could be a home for you. You could water. You got water. You could be a water sign. Endless opportunities. Um you could be a water sign. Blue could be, and see, yeah, with the indigo here, blue could be very special to you. But I'm definitely getting that you you are you feel most home at uh, when when you deal with someone who is of Andromedan energy. They they can bring you memories. You get to access a lot of memories from that place. You also tend to go there whenever you go to sleep as well. You, you visit there a lot. A mountain can help you feel more closer to home. You could live in mountains. You could be around mountains. That's what I'm getting. Let's see. Sheesh. All right. So what, what tarot cards can we help? What tarot cards can we also help have to help identify power two? I'm trying to like align these to where you can really see them. What tarot cards do we have for power two? 
you got temperance here so you tend to usually try to balance out your uh, dragon energy your serpent energy the fool you could be feeling like you should take a leap into something new as well got son of earth here that would be in my eyes that's page of pentacles you got eight of cups here you could be walking away from something to have a new beginning or you could be missing missing something that feels like home got the hangman you got the hierophant so it's like you've been waiting patiently for something with the hierophant i'm getting walking away from walking away from old ways so that you can start to match master yourself and that is allowing you to be in the full energy but it's also allowing you to tap into more of your power energy you got five of cups disappointment on the, on the bottom of the deck i'm gonna slap that here and we're gonna slap the star here you got the four of wands here so i'm getting with this five of cups you could be feeling like you tried to offer something or an offer came to you and it may be disappointing because you don't really feel as though it's something that can sustain your life. You know what I'm saying? And and it's like you've been wishing upon a star about something. You've been waiting on the divine to bring you something. And it's like they want to bring you something, but it's like it, it, it seems to be not what you expected. And it's like you constantly are trying to master and work on yourself in order for you to see things in a different light, in order for you to experience a different reality as well. But there's just so much, you know, and now you're finally being able to see some type of results. But it's like it is swords again. It's like you've been in your head about it. And it's like you've mastered, you've mastered this phase. You've mastered and conquered the devil. You've mastered and conquered your dark side, your demons. You got the two of cups here now. It's like you've been waiting on, you've been waiting to kind of uh, have a connection with somebody who is like, like, uh, like your energy. In the chariot it's like you're moving forward now and this is with this has been your wish fulfillment to get someone or to get uh an opportunity i'm, I'm seeing with with this with this nine of cups here and then you got in endless opportunities it's like it's you're trying to manifest and all of these like now that you have the ability to manifest and know what you're doing it's like you're bringing about so many different opportunities, so many different uh, ways of achieving this goal. And also not only so many different opportunities, but also so many different choices. That's what I'm getting as well. So many different choices. So many different choices. Do I have anything for power three? I mean, power two. Do I have anything for power two? So many different choices. Okay. They didn't want to give me nothing. Three of Pentacles. So, yeah, it's it's definitely you trying to work with someone. It's definitely that you're trying to work with someone. Can I get... Could I just set this down? Can I get what is the best move forward for Power 2? What is the best move forward for Power 2? What ways... What is the best decision that they could make to move forward? Seven of Wands and the Devil. So I'm getting that with the Devil card out here twice. You could have been fighting against, some, and then you got the hair fine at the bottom of the energy, uh, the bottom of the deck. So I'm getting that you could just be, 
You could be trying to block off family members. I'm getting as family members who are toxic. That could be your best bet to do. It's because like you've learned and you've studied. You've learned and studied that things are different. You know, things are not just according to what these religions or what everybody has wanted for you. So it's like having your guard up, being in defense about that. That can probably be your best bet. Throw your guard up. It said it's a count up. It says, okay, so this, the devil, they are sent to distract you from your purpose. It says stop now. So somebody could want you to stop. And it says they did more than you know. So it's like it says big win if you moving forward. What you moving forward? It says I need help. So whoever is in this toxic energy, they could need help. It's a reward. Okay. So your your big win. This big win that's coming with you walking away from something is there's a reward in store and it says definitely yes yes, so um, definitely you know try to try to have your guard up have your boundaries with this person or with this this uh, energy that may be trying to hold you back and it, I'm getting definitely uh, friends and family or mostly family. I'm getting that it's mostly family. You know, they have a certain way of looking at things. And it's like with the Hierophant, you've mastered all of those different uh, concepts and point of views. With this four of wands here, you got perfection. It's like you did something and you finally was able to do it. And that is allowing you to see things from a different point of view. That's allowing you to do See things from a different point of view. They did more than you know. More than that you know about whatever it is. Like, I'm telling you. So, it's like, yeah, you definitely have to block off whoever this is. And they it's, they saying stop. It says stop now. Like, they want you to stop about something. They want you to stop doing something. So, yeah, like it says, they are sent to distract you from your purpose. They don't want you to fulfill your purpose. So now that you know, you know what I mean, it allows you to move forward with the chariot. So that's what I have for you. Um, uh, if, it, if this resonated, please like, share, and subscribe. Comment if you like. Um, and I definitely appreciate y'all for watching. And until next time, all right, much love, peace, and positivity. And we're going to keep it moving to the third pile. All right, 100. Peace. All right. So that's what I have for pile two. A lot of the Norse gods... They could be, you know, they could be the ones that really, really uh, help you the most. And also Kemet DNA. With Kemet DNA, you also could, you know, have ancient Egyptian ties as well. So, because that's really, Egypt is Kemet. You know what I'm saying? Ancient Kemet. So, you got both of these. With this fish species, it definitely could be, you know, that you are tied to the um the nomos or you could be tied to the uh I'm hearing the uh the beings the beings like uh Owanis Owanis. I'm hearing Owanis. Owanis was very significant to y'all. Now they like I said they still nomos and stuff like that, but it's not it's not just like mermaid like with fish with fish species it's a little bit more broad broader than that it's a little bit more broader than that you know what i mean it's not just them you feel me so you have some type of aquatic dna as well with this kemet dna here so what 
oracle cards do I have for y'all? What oracle cards do we have for power three? What oracle cards do we have for power three? What oracle cards do we have for power three? Let's see. What oracle cards do we have for power three? Spirit, what oracle cards do we have for power three? We got journey to wholeness. Okay. We got water. So you definitely could be more comfortable and with the water. And you got reclaim your energy as well. Shine your light and water the overflow. You got 44 here, 33 here, 12 and 42. 12 could be significant. Uh, 44, 3, 3, crown chakra as well at the bottom. Fish species. Yeah, you definitely could be dealing with somebody from like, I think, power one. Yeah, they want me to put that here. Hmm. So you got, you got the fish species, indigo, Nordic aliens. That's where this woman comes from because they look separate. They look different to me. So it's like you got people of color and also people, you know, who lack pigment as well. Uh, and I'm not, yeah, yeah, you know what I'm trying to say. You got both of them, you know what I mean, in your lineage, in your DNA. So with Reclaim Your Energy and also with the journey to wholeness, which you, I'm getting that you would be, you would benefit greatly from meditation. It's going to help you open up your eyes. With the water here, it allows you to feel without having to do much work. So water baths, baths are very significant. They can really help you a lot. Um, just sitting in the shower and just actually giving yourself at least two minutes to just reflect on yourself. Like, like feel, and I'm hearing this is a technique that you might, uh, could benefit from. Feel very grateful for being able to sit in water or be in water and allowing yourself to tap into the ancient knowledge of the water water can help you greatly i'm hearing that um with this shine your light you definitely are connected to you know like the nobos or something like that so with the fish species here and you see this woman is a is a fish species you know what i'm saying it's like it's like she she's able to just be herself and it's mostly it's just all because she's in the water and it's like with this right here it's like i'm getting this is somebody with hair like their hair is prominent their hair is something that picks up a lot of different energies like you're very particular about what you do to your hair um what goes into your hair like I'm getting that you very big on hair. Something about your hair. So, what else can I get? What else can I get for Power 3? Can we clarify this some more? Shine your light and reclaim your energy. Basically, I'm hearing that you should not be afraid of who you are. Be proud of who you are. Because you, have, you do have ancient DNA that is in you that is going to help you in these next i'm hearing coming days you got the seven of cups yeah like i said y'all definitely could be dealing with somebody with power one with this seven of cups here seven of cups you could be you could be trying to paint a picture you got the king of pinnacles here it could be seeming like Things are going, things are going a certain way with a, a job situation or a opportunity with the King of Pentacles. It's like you trying to boss up and you really trying to just manifest something yourself. You see, I got the two of, pen, uh, two of Cups here. It's like with the Two of Cups here. It's like there's a victory between 
with the fool on the bottom. It's like there's a victory between you and maybe someone else. And it's, it's like you having to take a leap of faith into this new way of life or new way of thinking. Like the divine is trying to help you put your crown on. That's what I'm hearing. You have a crown. See, you got the world card here and you also have the two of pentacles. So it's like you're no longer with trying to juggle and go back and forth with an idea. Um, that's what I'm really getting. You're trying. You're not trying to go back and forth with no idea no more. You are allowing yourself to feel and tap into yourself to be a better you. It's like you are now allowing yourself to look and face victory and only only basically you are the one who is painting this like you are the one who is creating this through your own will and through your own focus attention and thoughts you got the three of cups here as well and you and the strength is underneath it so you could be being strong through a situation where you know that there is you dealing with another person or, you know what I'm saying, it's other energies as well. You know what I'm saying? It's like it could be celebration on the horizon, especially when it comes to a situation that is offering the opportunity when it comes to like money, monetary value, monetary gain. And you got the King of Swords here. You got the Three of Pentacles. So 3-3, three, three, 33. 33 could be very significant. You could be seeing that. Um, with this King of Swords here, it's like you could be dealing with someone of air energy. And being of the Page of Cups, you trying to be a little bit more loving or just offering some type of, some type of care like... And it's not, it don't have to be in a major way, but, you know, it's like, be sweet, be nice. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's in the energy that you in right now. Like, everything is going to be all good as long as everything is, you know, sweet. Because you're you're done with the, I'm hearing that you're done with the, the brashness. You're not trying to, you're not trying to go, go for, go back and forth with, you know, things that are of harsh harsh circumstances harsh conditions you're not trying to be harsh to no one you're not trying to engage with that that brashness that's what i'm hearing brash <laughs> and that's weird because i don't even use that word like that but you know and it's like seven of cups so many people have been trying to paint that uh, illusion over you that you that that's what you maybe either deserve or that's what you know you're getting involved in you're involved like the further you go you're being involved in something that's not for you, but that's all an illusion. And you get to tap out of that illusion by just actually sitting and meditating and being more grateful for what the divine is trying to align you to do. Because all ultimately, they're just trying to align yourself to be more in your power. Because I'm seeing, yeah, like it looks as though, the, you know what I mean, these women are in water. However... What they're trying to get you to do is to be an awakened, a awakened being who is very fruitful with abundance and everything. Like I'm hearing flowers for some of y'all, a uh, perfume, a perfume. They, they hearing maybe a perfume that you could make that will help you a lot. Um, a perfume can help you with keeping your energy balanced. A certain perfume it's something it's about flowers it's like fragrance you love fragrance something wh whatever whoever you are you love fragrance and see it's ace of pentacles here as well with this uh with this three of cups so it's like that's what could be of a big help like once you end and close out the cert a, a cycle of you being a certain way or accepting a certain thing you get this offer this ace of pentacles you know what i'm saying and this it could be with this three of cups as well um but it or it causes the three of cups and i'm, I'm getting this mainly from this this uh offer of this king of pentacles here so what what step forward would be best 
for pile three. What step forward will be best? Jeez, that's a lot of cards. Okay. Okay, that's the card. And this one wanna stick up justice, okay? And you got the last judgment. So clarify the last judgment. The star, okay. And the five of pentacles. So you definitely could be dealing with an Aquarius. Um the last judgment is here. So it could be something that is something that is of divine nature. I'm getting with the last judgment here and the star as well. You have the six of wands, but it's like you have to balance out. You have to balance between the two of, you know, you get to get what you got and you also have to uh, be mindful that there is also something that the divine is trying to do as well. And this is bringing justice and all this. I'm, I'm hearing all everybody involved, all situations involved. That's what I'm hearing. All situations involved. So can I get some clarification on this? Can I get some clarification on this spirit? Okay. They wanted to. What are we doing? I feel great regenerated. So yeah, like this is gonna help you feel a lot a lot better. We got the friend of the family. So there's a friend of the family that could also be facing judgment as well. Or it could be, you know, that's helping the judgment. Blank. Oh, okay, it ain't blank. Want to annoy you and be petty. And it says they are your twin flame. So Whoever you could be dealing with right now, they are your twin flame. Uh, you got somebody who may want to annoy you, be petty, with an offer. And it says, my ancestors led me to you. So, yeah, like, whatever, whatever is going on, this is a divine connection. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, with this divine connection, it's like, it kind of... It kind of is supposed to happen. It's not, yeah, it's supposed to happen. Really, it's not that. And it's, you know, spirit just, they said that's it. So it's like it's supposed to happen. And this is what's going to bring justice to the situation, especially everyone involved. But uh, it could be dealing with a friend of the family. Um, and somebody could want to annoy you, be petty. But I'm hearing that that's really not nothing to really worry about. Like, as long as you continue to work on yourself and if you want to participate, you know what I mean, in this Three of Cups, Three, three of Pentacles, which is working, you know, that's with that 33 there. So, 333 three, three is very heavy. With this Five of Pentacles, like, I'm hearing that something or someone could be having to be left in the cold, like, like or just left out. But it also could be a mindset that you could that you may need to leave out, especially with the nine of pentacles here. It also could, you know, lead you to be single and the four of pentacles and hold back from from other people. But it's like it's like with everything that's going on, you know, what I mean, it's it's supposed to be that way. So, you know, these are you know, we all have choices. So these are your choice if that's what you want to do. And it's saying, you know what I mean, when it for it to come out like that, that's really what it is. You could have been doing that. You got the emperor here. You could be an emperor or dealing with an emperor. You know what I'm saying? But you're definitely trying to just boss up. And the five of cups, it could have people, you know, feeling like feeling like they are, you know, feeling like they, they missed out or regret something. You got the three of cups and you got the ten of swords because something is over with and you don't really want to. You don't really resonate with that concept or with, you know, just in that situation or just like I said, it's mainly that concept with the five of wands here, too. It's like the drama. You, you're you not with the brashness. You're not with the drama. You're not with the pettiness. You know what I'm saying? And I, I understand that fully. You feel me? So it's like but it's, it's just like if you know you want better, you're going to have to align yourself. And, and and really 
exterminate that self. I mean, exterminate that within yourself so that you don't have to worry about receiving that. You know what I'm saying? Externally, because it's always internal, then external. You feel me? So, and when I put that, when I put that last card back, it said, don't trust them. So it's, it's somebody that you, that you may feel on the fence about, like you can't really trust, you know what I'm saying? So just be a little bit cautious of that. But the main thing is like really focusing on yourself. You know what I mean? That's what I'm really hearing. Just, you can focus on yourself and you'll, you'll come out a lot better. You know what I mean? Because it's not really about, it's, it's more like this. If it's something that's outside of you that you know you can't change, why even worry about it? You feel me? It's like, why worry about that? If it's nothing that you doing that you can change the circumstance of, it's no point in you worrying or even stressing over that. You know what I mean? You can create endless opportunities for yourself as well. So it's like, it ain't like you have to do things just one way. Delta Cephi. Delta Cephi. Yeah, you could have you could have lived in Delta Selfie, Cephi or before, Delta C E P I. You could have had a lifetime there. That's what I'm getting. I don't know where that is, but y'all might want to check that out. If if you didn't have a lifetime there, nine times out of ten, you're dealing with somebody who definitely has. But I feel like you have. You know what I'm saying? But. That's what I have for y'all. Hopefully it helped and you received the, some type of message that, that helps you overall. Um, and that's that's basically what we're going to do, what we're doing for today. I appreciate y'all for liking my, my video. And please like, comment, subscribe. You know what I'm saying? And checking out my And I appreciate y'all for checking out my video. That's what I meant. But yeah, um, that's it. And until next time, much love, much peace and prosperity to y'all everybody you know what i'm saying i'll holler at y'all another time 100 we out i feel anointed it's gonna bring out whatever you keep in dormant i work for money now money work for